Hello everyone and welcome to another St Matt's Sunday Club online. Well, here we are, another week of lockdown. And I know lots of us are fed up and bored with these restrictions. So today, I'd like us to begin by thinking about one good thing that happened to us last week. Maybe you had a great time in the park or reach the next level of your PlayStation game, or had a FaceTime chat with a grandparent, or ate your favourite food, or maybe you did well with a homeschooling task. So let's think now of something that went well. And maybe you can tell the other people in your house. So I'll give you a few seconds to do that. So have you thought of something? Well, we're going to pray to God now about these things. Dear Lord, many of us are feeling fed up. This lockdown seems to be lasting so long. And this means that we sometimes forget about the good things that still happen, even with the restrictions. Instead, we only see the things that are not so good or the things that we can't do. So we want to thank you now for all that we have enjoyed this last week. Amen. And we're going to sing a song of praise to our God now. Be great, great enough for me to fully trust Him. When the going gets tough, yeah, we can trust Him. God is able enough to keep us standing, whatever may come our way. Our God's unfailing, from the first to the last, He's never changing. Future, present, and past, our God's amazing, and we can put our trust in Him. From the Pharaoh Battle for Joshua down in Jericho If God rescued Daniel from the lion's den God must be great, really great So then we ought to trust Him When the going gets tough, yeah we can trust Him God is able enough to keep us standing Whatever may come our way Our God's are failing First to the last, he's never changing Future, present and past, our God's amazing And we can put our trust in him If God showed his love when Jesus died for me I dealt with my sin, I got his guarantee If God proved it all when Jesus rose again Must be great, really great So then be sure to trust Him When the going gets tough Yeah, we can trust Him God is able enough to keep us standing Whatever may come on our way Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Our God's unfailing From the first to the last He's never changing Future, present and past Our God's amazing And we can put our trust
Now, the good thing that happened to me last week was that it was my birthday and Holly gave me a present of a Fitbit. You wear it a bit like a watch and it counts how many steps I've walked each day and how many miles that equals. So I've had fun going out on walks and discovering how many steps I've taken. It only takes 80 steps to reach the end of my street, but 154 steps to go to the post office and about 5,000 steps when I go to the park. And yesterday I walked 10,071 steps, which was about five miles. It's amazing how many steps we take, isn't it? Think about your day. Well, a normal day when you can go to school. Think of all the walking and running about you do. Well, I discovered that a baby crawls or walks about a hundred miles before the age of two. And that's like crawling or walking from Cheltenham all the way to London. It's incredible. We're always on the move. And I've been thinking about all these steps. And it reminded me of some words in the Bible. And it says this, God knows everything I do. He counts every step I take. And we find that in the book of Job, chapter 31, verse four. God knows everything I do. He counts every step I take. So imagine that God, the maker of the universe, knows all about my 10,071 steps yesterday. He knows all about all your walking and running about, all the crawling that your baby brother or sister does. And he knows about this because he's watching over us, not spying on us, but because he loves us and he's looking out for us. God is with us. And we've got a chant that reminds us of this. Now, I think lots of you will remember the words. So if you'll say it with me and join in with the actions. And it goes like this. Remember, wherever we are, wherever we go, running fast or walking slow, God is with us everywhere. We're always in his love and care. Let's do that once more because that'll help us to remember the words. Remember, wherever we are, wherever we go, running fast or walking slow, God is with us everywhere. We're always in his love and care. So God counts all our steps. And in our Bible story today, we're going to see someone who took some steps towards Jesus when Jesus asked him to follow him. Let's have a listen. Matthew was a tax collector and every day he sat at a table in his town collecting money from people to give to his masters, the Romans. Now, tax collectors were not much liked because they worked for the Romans and also because they were often cheats, taking some of the money and keeping it for themselves. So Matthew was rich, but being rich did not make him happy. His life was missing something. Then one day, as he sat at his table, he saw Jesus coming along the road. Jesus had been travelling around, talking to people about God and how God loves them and helping people who were sick. When Jesus saw Matthew, he came over and spoke to him. Follow me, Jesus told Matthew. Matthew was so amazed. No one usually spoke to tax collectors. Why would Jesus want to be friends with me? He probably wondered. 
Matthew looked down at his table and thought about his job and his money. Should he leave all this? Then he looked again at Jesus. And without another word, Matthew stood up and took steps towards him. The first of many, many, many steps following Jesus. For Matthew followed Jesus for the rest of his life and wrote down many of the amazing things Jesus said and did because he wanted everyone to know and follow Jesus, his saviour and friend. That is how we have the Gospel of Matthew in the Bible. It is his record of the life of Jesus. Now, if Matthew had had a Fitbit, it would have recorded all the steps that he took from his house to his tax collector's table. I wonder how many steps he walked each day. Thousands, I'm sure. But those first few little steps that Matthew took to leave his table and follow Jesus were the most important steps of his whole life. For he suddenly knew that following Jesus rather than following what the powerful Romans said, was the best thing to do. And those few steps led Matthew on the greatest adventure ever. For he saw Jesus heal the sick, bring the dead back to life, give sight to the blind. And most of all, he saw Jesus die on the cross and rise again. And Matthew himself was forgiven for all the wrong things he'd ever done and was given life forever with God. Those few little first steps were well worth taking. And of all the steps that we ever take, the best ones are the ones we take following Jesus. But it's so easy, isn't it, for us to follow other people, to listen to the popular or powerful kids at school, or to follow the celebrities on TV, to want to look like them, think like them, talk like them, copy what they do. No, like Matthew, we should turn away from that and think instead about following Jesus. Listen to him and copy what he does instead. But it's not always easy following Jesus. We get distracted by other people or th other things take up our time. And it can be easy to put Jesus on one side to forget about him and walk away from him. So for our prayer time today, we're going to ask Jesus to help us take steps to follow him. So we need to stand up for this prayer. And I'm just going to move the camera. So our prayer today has an action that helps us remember that we're wanting to follow Jesus. So we start by facing this way. And when I say, Lord, we all say, turn us round to follow you. And we turn and face the other way. And next time we turn back. So let's just practice that. Lord, turn us round to follow you. Okay, let's get ready to pray. When we are tempted to follow other people, Lord, turn us round to follow you. When we think only of ourselves and want to do what we think is best, Lord, turn us round to follow you. When we forget about you or put you on one side, Lord, turn us round to follow you. And in all the steps we take, Lord, turn us round to follow you. Amen. And our next song reminds us that the Jesus that we follow is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Hello, hello. We're going to sing a song about Jesus. Do you know who Jesus is? 
He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the Son of God. And we're going to praise him as we sing this song together. He's the King of Kings. someone playing piano and maybe singing along with us. So, hey Philip, hey. why don't you join us? Love to. Oh, I should probably move over. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more. Some more room? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thanks. Shall we sing? One, two, three, four. <laughs> of time for today but over the next few weeks we're going to be looking closely at this Jesus who asks us to follow him and we'll be discovering more about who he is. We'll look at stories that show his power and his love. Now some of these stories will be well known to you but others are not so well known. So please join me again next time. Until then take care everyone. God bless you and bye-bye.